On a busy factory floor, one worker reaches into a moving line and the rollers grab back. Inside a production hall, a worker in a helmet and uniform adjusts a feed line loaded with fast-turning spools. It's a routine task. Straighten a snag, fix alignment, keep production flowing. But the line is still live, the rollers still spinning. The worker leans in to adjust the feed line. In a flash, the loose sleeve catches the airstream and brushes against the moving shaft. The rollers surge forward, the motion snapping back before the emergency stop cuts power. Never ever reach into active machinery. A motion that appears controlled can turn violent in an instant. Always isolate energy, stop the line, and lock out before working near moving parts. In this vehicle yard in Sao Mateus, a man stands behind a towering car carrier. Suddenly, one strand of tension gives way, and the whole thing falls backward. A worker in his 60s walks behind a large car carrier, guiding its final adjustments. The upper deck holds a silver sedan tied down with ropes, a common shortcut when proper chains aren't available. Suddenly, a single securing rope, frayed from use, snaps under the sedan's weight. In that instant, balance is gone. The car lunges backward, sliding down the tilted ramp before thudding against the ground. The yard falls silent, a clear reminder of what happens when tension fails. Never ever secure vehicles with ropes, straps, or improvised restraints that are not rated for load weight and dynamic motion. Only rated chains, load binders, and anchor locks belong on transport carriers. On a city street, a forklift rolls back from a delivery truck stacked high with timber panels. Seconds later, the entire stack collapses. It's a hot afternoon outside a furniture supplier. Traffic hums past as workers rush to unload. Inside the truck, one man stacks boxes. Another stands atop the wooden panels, guiding their position as the forklift below begins to lift. The operator edges backward, struggling to balance a load that towers above the mast. As the forklift reverses, the top-heavy panels begin to sway. The shifting weight sends the bundle collapsing sideways, striking the ground with a thunderous crash. Dust rises in the air as the forklift halts, the scene frozen in silence, a stark reminder of how fast stability can fail. Working or standing on top of unsecured loads is a direct collapse hazard. Forklifts are designed for lifting material, not people. High, uneven, or shifting stacks must be stabilized, strapped, or unloaded in sections, never balanced by body weight. One shift in gravity can turn a routine lift into a total collapse. At this park, families waited for their turn until the one ride behind them began to tear itself apart. In seconds, the sound of joy turned into the sound of steel collapsing. It's late afternoon at a small amusement park. The blue rotating attraction spins under the metal roof of its enclosure, filled with lights and motion. Just outside, two men and a family stand by the railing, chatting casually while others line up a few feet away. The machine looks sturdy, welded beams, heavy bearings, anchored base. Everything feels normal. Without warning, the entire frame gives way. The upper structure folds inward, sending the massive wheel crashing through the enclosure. The roof buckles, metal fragments scatter, and the roar of tearing steel echoes through the park. In seconds, the once bright attraction stands silent, reduced to twisted beams and dust. Never, ever operate or stand near amusement machinery that shows signs of mechanical fatigue, vibration, or noise irregularities. Bolts, welds, and rotating assemblies must undergo daily inspections and shut down protocols at the first sign of instability. A single fractured bearing or weakened joint can unleash catastrophic energy in seconds. Inside a busy kitchen, everything seemed routine until chaos erupted. It's 9 p.m. in a restaurant kitchen. Three staff members move between counters, prepping meals for the dinner rush. Behind the noise, a faint hiss goes unnoticed. A stove valve isn't sealing properly, and gas is leaking into the closed space. Then, one small spark meets a heavy pocket of fuel-rich air. A sudden burst of pressure rocks the kitchen, knocking utensils from counters and scattering debris across the floor. The blast of air shatters glass and ripples through the space before fading into silence. The unmistakable aftermath of a gas ignition. Never, ever ignore the smell of gas or the faint hiss near an open flame. Pressure systems in kitchens must be leak-tested daily, with shut-off valves and ventilation verified before ignition. 
A single unverified burner can turn a workspace into an explosion chamber. At a fuel station in southern Libya, a quiet refill turns deadly in seconds. A faint hiss from a hose coupling becomes a roaring flame, and one driver steps into danger instead of running from it. It's midday in the city of Saba. A tanker truck is parked beside the underground fuel pit, pumping gasoline into buried storage tanks. The heat shimmers across the concrete. The air smells faintly of vapor. Two men work near the coupling. One monitors the valve, the other steadies the hose. Everything looks routine, but static and vapor have already formed a silent trap. In an instant, the refueling bay erupts into flame. The hose ignites, smoke rises, and the heat builds fast around the tanker. The driver reacts immediately, grabbing a fire extinguisher and directing the plume at the base of the flames. Within seconds, the blaze subsides and the vapor clears, leaving only scorch marks where a disaster was seconds away. Never, ever begin or continue a fuel transfer without grounding, vapor monitoring, and full firefighting readiness. Static buildup, vapor leaks, or loose couplings turn a refueling bay into a live ignition zone. Safety checks aren't procedures. They're protection against instant catastrophe. Inside a busy warehouse, two forklifts move fast through a narrow loading bay, a single misstep, and everything turned into an unexpected collision. It's a busy distribution center. Pallets of goods are stacked high. Forklifts weaving through narrow aisles. One operator reverses while another approaches with a new load. A third worker stands nearby, pulling a pallet jack to the side, unaware of what's about to unfold. As one forklift backs out, the other moves forward to enter. Glare from the dock lights cuts their visibility for a moment, and both operators react just in time as their paths converge at the entrance. The sudden stop leaves the air still. A clear warning of how quickly focus can slip in shared zones. Never, ever enter or exit a shared loading dock without a clear signal and full visual confirmation. Forklifts are powerful but blind at angles, and light glare, reflection, or fatigue can erase seconds of awareness. Every dock lane needs communication, radio calls, mirrors, dock lights, or spotters before movement begins. On a quiet construction site, a worker lifts a heavy wooden board and hurls it from the second floor, unaware that a co-worker is standing directly below. It's mid-morning on a residential construction site. A worker stands on an unfinished balcony, clearing debris to make space for concrete work. He doesn't have a chute, a tagline, or even a lookout below. On the ground, another worker sorts lumber just beneath him, unaware that he's standing inside a fall zone. The man above swings the heavy board over the parapet and lets it drop. At that same moment, the worker below moves into the drop zone to lift a plank. The board hits with a heavy thud, a split-second near-miss that freezes both men in shock. Never, ever throw, drop, or clear materials from height without securing the drop zone. Gravity doesn't forgive mistakes. It amplifies them. Every elevated task must have exclusion zones, barricades, or warning signals to keep ground crews out of harm's way. In a paper plant, a single roll begins to move. By the time the worker notices, it's already too late. It's a normal Wednesday morning, June 4th, 2025. Inside a small paper converting warehouse, giant rolls of material stand stacked upright, each weighing hundreds of kilos. One worker, dressed in dark clothing and slippers, adjusts a sheet near a cutting table. Around him, rolls are leaned together without restraints or chalks. He bends over the work area, unaware that the roll behind him has begun to tilt. A simple vibration, a touch, that's all it takes. The roll behind him begins to tip, gaining speed as it falls forward. The worker turns just in time, stumbling back as the giant roll slams to the floor beside him, the vibration echoing through the shop. Never, ever store cylindrical loads upright without restraints, wheel chocks, or containment racks. Gravity turns every round surface into a runaway hazard. In material handling, stability is protection. Every roll must be secured, blocked, or cradled before anyone steps near. A standing roll is never still. It's waiting to move. If it rolls once, it can roll again. Secure it before it secures you. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.